ino kusu to ke nama nangi shito hila rahana ke nama na kusu to ino kisto hila te kisto to ke nama nohu ede kia kwa kala nama nohu ena kisto hila ma hana kisto to ino ki rahana ke la abundance abundance abundantly thinking abundantly thinking positive positive creating thoughts creating abundance abundance thoughts are abundance it's not just materialistic things it's more spiritually nature we have thoughts that are abundant and positive of affirmations positive lifestyle optimistic number one kuno kisto hala mono na kisa to ya mana na kudo ya da activate fuso sota ke la mana hoya siki mono hoya la hana ke ya shuto ku la mana ni ki no kusho to ya mana hana ki da ka la hana ko soto ya ma holy fire holy fire holy fire holy fire holy fire notice the motion notice the motion of the hands look through the hands look through the hands look through it not just my physical being but look through it look through it geometrically geometry where is it what am i doing seeking the manoa who is shot the manoa in the key soto ya radia radia the witch is in sinikilo monogo is shot the manoa in the key soto in the key la la kuna kia rahana ki sto ho tabara ni ki soto ko no ya mana e rahana ki soto ho manoa ya te ni ki ho no ko sto ho la sinikilo monoa Rahana ki soto e sto e la mahana ki siti ki no no et pa Rahana ki soto no no e ni ki ano ho e la mahadi Rahana ki sto no ku e la ni ki sto na ki She has a lot to say, a lot to teach A lot of new, evolved things are coming So no ku e la mana ha ni ki sto ta ke la ha ni ki soto e la ma So I took this male mask So I can be powerful in the patriarchal time but to know I was destroying myself. So no kuela na gisto na ke, but I've always been here, awakening the body, destroying the man. So no kuela na gisto the ego. Moya na gisto to na na hoya da kalamo. Rahana gisto hoya kalamo ho no kuela ma na gisto to ela. Ini gisto to ela ma, because the witches are coming out. If you notice. Think about it. You know, look differently at it. No kush tara mahani kiso toh na kila. Rahana kala mo kuhi siti kina kush toh ay. You start to notice things. Ini kiso toh hila mane gish toh no kila. Those who come to you to ask, what is this? Or hey, you got you got this color, and it, that's sparking the conversation. Color, color means blue. It's black. Uh, it's blue. Uh, begins with the letter B. It's number two. Duality. See, Nikola, blue means truth. It is also your throat chakra. Now you've just awoken somebody. Like, oh wow, how do you know this? That's when we can speak the truth. But we walk. We walk it as well. Because now I have made balance with the body. And turn the masculine to where it really is balanced, because it's abundantly going. Ini kisa toh ena mo isto ho ena kila mo toh ena kisa na ko sa tar mane isto ono kila. Ini kisa toh ena hiro isto ena mo na ho na kisa toh ena mo duki rahana kala. Ini kisa toh ena mo isto ho ena ha ne kisa toh ena. Si ni kila mo na ho na kisa na ono isto ti la. Choke de, choke de, choke de. Sina kila mo no na kala hana kisto ho to kila hana haya to esa. Greetings, my beautiful, lovely gods and goddesses of creation, of creation. Aradia is so so beautiful. Like I just, she activates my heart. And this is what we're teaching now. We're going to be learning to teach. I'm going to be teaching. 
<laughs> we're going to be teaching this heart language that is anyway we'll, we'll, we'll get into that in, in down the next few days I'll be I'm getting very busy over here now so I gotta manage everything and number fives are crazy so that doesn't matter for this moment is uh, the 26th okay so now we need to look at the date differently because a lot of things are changing a lot of things are changing uh, but numbers singly will always mean the same when they're with other numbers you gotta think like this double you can't just reduce it to one anymore you can it gets boring <laughs> so it's the 26 2 plus 6 is 8 but let's not look at 8. We're going to look at the 26 because the 26 carries the vibration. It's a vi They're together for a reason. And they're vibing, right? They're vibing. So it's going to vibe your whole... It's going to influence us in certain ways. Uh, by the way, it is Thursday. But it's not Thursday because Thursday in numerology reduced it to 35. It come up with 35. But let's just reduce that for now two and eight because that is what it is it carries that core it's the core vibration of Thursday which would be eight today's the 26 two plus six is eight so already we have the eight the infinity the abundant one as above so below inner being inner connectingness you know connecting the mind with the throat and the eyes just making that figure no beginning no end now, the double zeros in eight, the God force, the almighty, the two, the inner divine feminine, the inner divine masculine are together. They come to those crossroads, but there's balance, you see. Shinikilo no huera, rahana ke sotore maniki sotore makisto no kuela. Aradia just wants people to be what they came here to be, what they signed up for. What are they doing? Your true soul. Purpose. Purpose. Shokere, shokere, holy fire, holy fire. It carries this vibrations of two and six. Two meaning duality, partnership, relationships. Think about what's going on with me. Symbolically, think about it. How is it lining up? And, um, you know, accomplishment, right? Service, duality. I mean, service and duty. I'm, I'm, the spirit is, uh, the body is serving the spirit. Now, this female, beautiful, divine, feminine energy that I carry. So, It is balance and harmony, right? Um, divine life purpose and soul mission. This is what I'm doing right now. This is the only thing I'm doing. This is the only soul's mission. It's whatever's being documented. Because I'll be shunned from families. and Well, I'm already being shunned from people. and I'm too crazy. Ooh! Let the weirdo, let the weirdo get out of here, you know, let him, don't let him do anything, don't, don't talk to the weirdo, it's basically what's going on over here, so, I have no interaction with really humans except my clients, that's about it, <laughs> anyone who personally knows me, alright, cool, you're, you're on this path, that's right on, they support me, other than you guys, I love you guys so much too as well, you guys have been great, um, Number six is just what I've been doing. Love, nurturing, the motherhood number. Teaching others. Uh, 
she's grace and gratitude reflecting upon the home and family. That's why I have to ground and realize that the multi-dimensional being and the multi-realities, they exist. Unfortunately, <laughs> not just the 11th dimension here, you know, here, the 5th dimension. But it, it's it's rough to glide through because it's it's very emotionally reckless. It's a wreck. It, it's destructive. But I can only shine a light and show compassion. Because the inner female is really awoken now. Really has meaning of the word. See, all these things are rushing through our body. Most of the time we have no words for so it's just overlooked. By that I mean memory, weird memory, weird coincidences, weird synchronous, weird experiences, remembering of past childhood stuff, beyond this and that, like, you know, it's all, like, there, you know. So, I don't know, okay, so 26, together is a message from the guides that the material uh, and earthly matters are always met, will always be provided for. That's what the raccoon teaches us. You see, not just number six, but the raccoon also teaches us that. The raccoon also teaches us the mask, the male mask I was wearing. The vultures kept telling me to go inside what has died and bring it out to light for the crow and the hawk to play with. Till the inner female died, I had awoken her again to her true nature. So the goal is to bring out everyone, all of your, all of your insides, find your uniqueness. Always trust the universe will provide. Think of the thoughts with the numbers you see. What is going on? Because if I'm doing this now, that means this is, all, this is all balanced out. It's divine. It's coming and going. No end, no beginning. Um, follow the inner divine guidance is the 26. What is he or she telling you? That unconditional place in the fifth dimension where there's just unconditional love. There's no words for anything. We're creating new words. That's the problem. These words that we hear come with images. We're changing all that. Putting your own meaning to it, not what you were taught to know what it means. Trust her, him, it. So, um, but adding these up is eight for the day. For the day. So it's the day vibration of eight abundantly. One through eight, pretty much the end. If you think about it, nine really don't exist. I'll get to that in a second. But it comes to eight. Eight is the karmic number. Uh, new beginning, uh, or no beginnings and no ends. Um, In it's infinity, it just is. It's constantly r rolling. Remember I said the two divines, the two divines. It's a balance. Um, balance. Abundance, personal power, uh, the vibes of authority. Personal power, that authority, that spirit. You feel her, him together, join the triad. Two, the two divine spirits are, the, are, are balanced with the body, the triad. 
material freedom, confidence, abundance. And God and dog, if you add up God, you eat, it equals eight. Same with dog, eight. Imagine that. Eight, eight, eight. You know, it's just all right there. You're like, hello. The threes, now everything's going to be in threes and doubles. Threes and doubles. It's a, it's a major awakening call. Major. To look into the fucking numbers. <laughs> Basically, hello. Look at the numbers. Look at me. Add me up. Do something. Do something. Get out of your thinking. It's not what it appears. So we have, uh, then we have in the date 10, 10 26. 10 is October, but it's, is it really? It's, it's the 10th month, but that's time. So now we're trapped in this belief of there's a calendar. Why is this? But when you add it up or to reduce it to a single number, it's 33 or 6. Why is that? Why is it the 10th month and not the 6th? Why isn't it called, you know, the 6th portion of the wheel or what, or the whatever, a year, whatever the fuck? Who's to say it's number 10, it's the 10th month? Nobody said it. So somebody just made it up. We're making our own calendar. It's not, this is the 6th month. This is the 6th, whatever, I don't even know, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't have a word for it. But I'm not going to neglect it. I'm going to think about it. Because I don't want to be in that third dimension, fourth dimension anymore. Thinking. It's all fifth dimension. Just constant love. Looking things differently in love. And then watch it disappear. <laughs> it's the magic. Whoa. So. Strange. How is it? But the, anyway. Question it. Why? So Ten. Because that's what the collective says, so that's the energetic. But it really is manipulating because it's the 33 and the 6. But it's teaching you something. Because it's the master number. If you really want to get weird about it, 6 and 4 is 12. 33, what, 3 plus 3 plus 6 is 12 balance, right? Building, right? Stability. Climbing the ladder. Seeing beyond. Because the veil's thin. Alright, whatever. Uh, but it's the tenth month, so you have the uh, God force, the harmony, self-striving, new opportunities, new beginnings, the God force. And with the God force, you have the balance of the eight, because of the two and the six, but it carries the vibe of the eight. They all have the same vibe. These vibes mix and they influence us. You know, and then you look at 2017, you already have a double two in there. It's a master builder. You're building your spiritual inside. So that's just what I'm doing. Discovering new shit every day, creating life every day, creating every moment every moment and you guys are witnessing all this shit twenty two is riddled through this all but and you look at the end of two thousand seventeen there's a seven the seven is that mystical number right the seeker the searcher of the truth, looking past the illusion, looking beyond the veil. So he's in the back of all these numbers looking like this and going, nope, nope, that's not real, that's not real, that's not real, that's not real. Ah, that's okay, I see this now. Boom, 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 
boom, boom, you start looking differently. You're like, holy shit. Activate, activate, activate. <laughs> so, but anyway, adding this all up, and here's the what I was talking about, the nine. It doesn't really exist, because it's six. If six was nine, what is Jimi Hendrix telling me? He wouldn't mind. But the whole date adds up to 19. But the 9 is invisible, if you think about it. Add it up. 9 plus 1 is 10. Okay, so that's the next harmony. Not just 1. But it's reduced to 1 in numerology. It equals 1. So really, 19 is 1. You don't even need to do the math. So just, why is the 9 even there? So it really doesn't exist. In a Vedic chart and the old Chaldean chart, the nines aren't even there. They don't use nine. Interesting. <laughs> you know, no matter what you add up, even if you add up uh, um, When you add up 1, 3, and 9, just for example, 9 plus 3, 12, plus 1 is 13. 13 is 4. So you're really, you're really not even 1 plus 3. You, it's confusing, but look at it. You don't really need that 9. It's just 4. So that 9 is... Zero and nine. This is a discovery. This is coming to me. This is the moment. Zero and nine. Why are they not noticed? Why? Why did Western culture, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, why did they, why did they not, why is this ignored? Why is it ignored? The zero. See, they don't, the zero, they took that god away, they took the divine away. And the nine is a female. It's associated with Venus. So, is the divine masculine zero and the divine feminine nine? Is that the balance of it all? Connecting the whole one through nine? Or one through eight? According to the eight, he will tell you yes. That's is what it goes. That's the way it is. What the fuck? That's wild, right? Like, I just thought of that. It's just now, this is how this happens. I activate myself doing this shit. By getting knowledge of just fucking whatever is being told to me. And understanding what's in, what is, who's telling me. It doesn't matter because I, it just, this is what it is. Get used to it. Buena, the keys in the heel of my She's so beautiful, like, I just want to, like, show her what she looks like. What do you look like? Like, if I could just dress like her, I probably, I'm probably going to get to it. It's coming. See, I still have a block of, some small block of actually showing in, out there. Like, I do it, but. I'm not, I'm not really, uh, it's coming, it's, it's coming, it's all I can say, it's, and when that happens, when that change happens, then it'll be more of understanding on a collective level, it's accepting these things, being humiliated, uh, being called names, being, you know, whatever, but I have to accept it, because that's the way it is, so we add it all up. In 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 reality, it's one. You know, and not reality, but because what is reality? According to the chart, it's one. So you have some wild numbers, right? One, you have the whole ball of wax in today, with the date. 
you know, the whole date, the year, and the, just all these things, and the, the one constantly, so, so our thoughts are constantly creating, see, when I wake up in the morning, I start to think, okay, what is today, today is the 26th, I start thinking about the number, and I'll start doing a little noting, a little bit of researching, whatever, refreshing my memory, going, going back in the book of shadows, checking things out, looking at certain numbers, looking for mystical meanings, and all these sorts of good stuff, right? And notice how this is always abundantly going, so you're constantly abundance. So when I wake up and start to start to do research, you know, start to think, I see myself writing, writing what I'm getting, and then half hour later I'll do what I gotta do, you know, my morning stuff, I'll start writing and looking. And then while I'm writing and looking, I see myself with the camera. See how I'm lining up, I'm lining up, attracting. This is manifesting. This is bringing it to reality. When you line up, so I lined up. I see myself writing, I did it a half hour later. I see myself making videos, doing all this stuff. Did I line up to it? And then I see Aradia comes out. And then I line up to it and bring her out. This is how these things work. This is how it rolls. And if you think about it, that gold and silver light, that's pay attention to the silver. Pay attention to the silver. It's up here, be above the cosmic chakra. Think about how it's sitting up here. Just think about. So it's abundantly flowing for you. Just let it go. Don't worry about how, what it looks like. Because I don't even know. Nobody knows. That's the secret. Aradia will send you love, light, and wisdom in this uh, ceiling. We're sealing the deal. So this is going to be one of the, when I do this, for the directions and the elements in your being. Your inner spirit. Love. Suno kiramana ki, stono kiramana ki, sato kiramana ki, lana huye sato kiramana. Love. The light. Kusoto kia, sato kiramana ki, sato kuno na kiramana, kusoto yana na kia. In wisdom. Suno kiramana ki, sato kuno puye na ki, sato kiramana ki, sato yana na, sato muye na na. Rahana ki, sato yana, sato kiramana ki, sato ono kuye na na. Pay attention to the silver. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I thank you, beautiful Aradia, and all my guides. I thank you, gods and goddesses of creation, for helping me manifest this. Because if you know how it works, the calling I'm doing is the collective. I'm answering a collective call. And those of you who watch are most likely lined up for some reason. Or to awaken you, or to, you know, it's just basically mind candy. But you understand, the mind is a powerful tool. It's the most powerful tool that we have. I bless you all in love, light, and knowledge, wisdom, cosmic realms. May you all be blessed. Be inspiring. Be magical. And balance. 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 I love you guys. I'll see you soon.